She's bossing respectfully. <laughs>I
No, it's the same shit that when I went to the hospital last time because I also went like you know seven months ago now for the same like same, pain. same when thing. I went, yeah, when I went then they were just like, oh, you're I don't know, man. It could be this, it could be that, but it's not this, it's not that. Uh, if it comes back, come back to the hospital. And so it came back. Um, I went back to the hospital. Um, there was a couple other things that popped up that they were like, oh, it could be this, it could be that. They tested for it. Um, nothing came up. Uh, and so my follow-ups are to test for more serious things. Uh, so, you know, I just have to do those, which is, that'll be fun. It's such but, a pain. It's such yeah. a pain. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be okay. It's cool. And then work's been cool. I'm excited. Super excited to be back. What are you working out now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, working at, uh, I'm working at Quest. Oh um, shit! Back at the old place. Yeah, and if you know us, then you know about Quest. We work. We both worked at Quest together for. I worked there for two years. Yeah, left, so did I. Two years. Yeah, so. so yeah, we both left our name on that place, and you know, they both remember you when I talk about you. And you know, when I came back, the people that are still there from six years ago now still remember me um, bro that can be there as long as i long uh, that long i mean the amount of money that you get paid is just not worth it to stay there yeah, that long we were there it was 10 now it's way more um and the guys that are in the position that we were in it's a little bit more i think they're gonna pay like 15 or 16 so it's like good for them and the hours are better um they do the schedule way different which is awesome it's not like a, <laughs> not like a paperback <laughs> yeah. yeah it's not a p.m text the night of like hey you have to work tomorrow morning at 5 a.m you know they have like a printed out schedule for like the week which is cool oh, that's um, cool it's super cool um, i'm in a different position now i'm doing like account coordinating which is cool i have a, my own cubicle <laughs> my own computer and all that stuff it's awesome i actually took tom's old desk tom oh really there. yeah he left quest and he went to a, a moved up good for him oh Had yeah to moved to a different company um but it's cool still like doing my training and stuff I actually did a, a quote. I'm working on a quote. Uh, working on a Friday, but then a weekend hit. So I'll finish it off tomorrow. I'll have to let you know. Damn. Look at you Whoa. fucking fancy pants over here. Yeah, you got cool your big boy pants at Quest? What? Yeah, it's cool. And they changed the color. It's not black anymore. It's like gray. The uniforms. Yeah. It's gray and purple. And it's funny because I, 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 you remember Chad? Yeah. He's working for me now. Really? Yeah, <laughs> I just started him yeah. on uh Thursday. Chad Free, yeah, he's cool. And uh, the only people that are there, there's only like three or four. A and D guys are still there, uh, but Lance and Alec, they're there. But you know, a lot of the other guys are there. I asked uh, Alec about a bunch of guys I remember. Alec was uh, there when you were started. Yeah, because that motherfucker is always everywhere. Every time I see his Facebook, he's like in Dallas and Florida and. Yeah, no, he was there. Um. I caught him. Luckily, he was there for two weeks. But now, yeah, he's gone from, I think Friday or Sunday he left, um, and he comes back like the twenty eighth of June. He's going to Chicago and Florida. Florida. So what does he do? Like, he's just like a sales rep or something. He's the senior project manager for Las Vegas. There's fourteen markets now. They got Jesus. up to twenty eight before COVID hit, which is insane. Um, but then they closed everything down, and then they've only reopened. 14 they're about to open uh, uh san diego there's the the gm for that is here in vegas right now like training everything learning all the stuff he's been shadowing lance and shadowing a bunch of people because then he's going to go there and open a new market and then they're opening one in austin texas um, jesus christ so this company's doing good now huh? yeah they're doing real good um, it's exciting alex making a lot of money he's a senior project manager um so it's I, I I remember joking, calling him Lifer. <laughs> <laughs> you about to be the next one. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, the position I'm in is really cool. I'm jealous because like the day I started, this other girl started, and I thought yeah. she was doing the same thing I am. But she's an operations manager, yeah. um, and so she's like what Jeff was, kind yeah, of, pretty much. Um, yeah, like go out on site, talk with the client, uh, like. A, and I'm jealous because you know I'm gonna be at my desk all the time. Like that's my thing. But who knows? Maybe I'll be able to 
move up. Talk to them, influence them, and be a account coordinator and operations. Like, okay, <laughs> okay, a little bit here and there. It's chill out, it's chill out. Yeah, but it's cool. I'm excited to be back. You know, new chapter. Yeah. That's good though. I'm I'm glad you're doing good for yourself too. Cause dude, weren't you doing like uh, what's it called mailman, or you were like a manager? What happened with that? I didn't I even talk about that. I was doing a bunch of stuff. Um, and then weren't you working for like a like, a, like kind of like an Uber thing, like an Uber company? Yeah. What happened with that? <laughs> <I just laughs> like Why that. you laugh like that? because uh, it's annoying. It's like I'm not embarrassing. It's just. I just okay. So the post office, um, I was doing that. I did that for a long time, and then I uh, supervised. I was supervising there towards the end. And I was like, around COVID hit. Um, There's just a lot. Um, ended up wanting to move on because I didn't like. There's just a lot of stuff going on. So I was like, oh, I want to move on to a different job, do a different career. I'm still young. It's not too late for me to start change my yeah. path. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's when I found that the autonomous driving thing. And so I left for that, which was, you know, that was a big thing. It was post office. Uh, yeah, because, like, wasn't that, that's, like, really good money right there, right? It was cool. The benefits weren't, like, everyone's always like, oh, my God, the benefits. It was cool. You don't get paid as much as, like, a lot of people think. Like, FedEx and UPS and Amazon, all those guys make more. Um, huh. But it was cool. Uh, job was cool. I don't want to put people away from working there. And then at the autonomous driving thing, that was, it was cool, but it just wasn't like wasn't how I thought it was gonna be. Um, yeah, ended up moving on from there. Went to, and did uh, construction or concrete cutting or whatever. You did but concrete, like, dude. Yeah, uh, I know you hated long. that. <laughs> yeah, it was ass. Mainly just because <laughs> the the schedule was awful. It was another like day before. Um, uh, they just let you know day of text yeah. call. But a lot of guys that are in that like industry, that's just how it is, you know. There's oh yeah. Day, so it's not like a surprise, but I didn't work every day. Um so it was just yeah. So I moved on from that and I went to um damn where did I go? FedEx? Was it FedEx? No. Uh I found a um I don't even remember, fuck. Yeah, I went to FedEx and I worked at FedEx for a while. And FedEx was just taking me around. So I was, I was doing that. I was at uh, the warehouse loading trucks and stuff. Yeah. And um, it was cool. Really easy job. Got in there easy because the post office experience. They were hyping me up from the beginning that with my experience. And just for I already knew what I was doing right away because it's an easy job that I could move up, be a trainer, manager, or whatever. And so as soon as the opportunity like came up and I applied for the trainer, they hit me with bullshit. You know, with crap ex- uh, excuses for why I couldn't be the trainer and then next time to go for it. And the next time when I went for it, they gave me a different excuse. Um, you know, I went for manager, same thing. So I just left from there and that, and I'm at quest. So, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, just, I, I can see the possibilities at quest now that I'm older than when I was there before. Um, I mean, shit, you, it was, is that something like you don't even think about when you're like 17, 18 coming into that yeah. job? All you think about yeah. is like working those long night shifts. And it's funny when I talk to Lance and some of the bosses that come in and they, like, I, Lance will introduce me and tell him that I used to work there. And they're like, like, I'm sorry. Like, how did you guys not quit sooner? How did you work for, work for us for so long with the insane hours we were paying you? We were barely, paying you guys you know, ten dollars an hour and you guys were working 16 hour shifts going home for like four hours and coming back and working oh my 12. god dude that was terrible bro people that don't know what we legal. fucking went through dude i worked a 22 hour shift with uh with uh tom bro 22 hours bro and they wanted us to come back like two hours later so we were like fuck it we'll just sleep here it's only two yeah, hours. I was just about to say, you remember sleeping at the warehouse? Yeah. Uh, like, dude, we legit, it was dead at night, cold as fuck. There was no heater, nothing. And then me and me and Tom cuddled a heater because we were so cold. That little freaking foot heater, we were like laying down next to it, fucking shivering. I remember that story. Yeah, I slept at the warehouse too. Um, it's super cool, yeah, being there with Alec and then just talking about the funny stories. When uh, we would have to do like the pool staging 
Oh my yeah. god, that was horrible. It, it yeah. was weird because pool staging was only in the winter. Yeah. So we yeah. would have to go in, in like goddamn freezing ass pool water in at casinos. Oh god. <laughs> just like wetsuits. We didn't even get wetsuits. Only freaking George and what's his name did. Right. <laughs> We're all here in our swim trunks. Just Jorge's in the water with us. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what a nightmare. Oh gosh. But yeah. New job. It's cool. Um but yeah. What's not cool is what's going on. What happened in Texas. Oh shit. Nice transition. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you're so great with these transitions. Like, no, it doesn't grind my gears. You know what? Really grinds my gears, man. School shooter. <laughs> it's what not a. It's hell? not funny, but god damn. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, dude. It's just so crazy that you would think that the last school shooting would have been the last. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's hard to even imagine that there's this still going on here and now. Yeah. Just every time it happens, it's like another one. No way. What are they gonna do? They got it. They're, they're definitely. They gotta do something this time, so it doesn't happen again. And it's like, oh, another one. Well, I just, I just don't understand why they don't put in, like, where teachers can hold arms. You know. <laughs> yeah. That'd be why, sick. why, why don't they got teachers strapped up? Yeah, that'd be cool. I think it's some parents are nervous, you know. But I saw this post. Um, I'd rather my. I, I would rather have, be having parents nervous than parents devastated you know what i mean yeah like, like my oh my kids a little scared because their teacher has a gun hidden in their drawer you know like oh uh, or you know my kid died at school um yeah no i as a parent you know just oh yeah as a parent i i would not mind if um and they don't even need to tell us you know what i mean but if they did that'd be you know that'd be cool too like if hey these are the teachers who carry. This is like, yeah, they don't need every teacher to carry. Right. It's like if he starts going into classrooms or something, you're going to know. You're going to hear. So it's like, oh, if the one teacher, he goes into one class and that teacher is one that doesn't have a gun, the teacher across the hall or the one next door is going to be one with the gun. Um, they will hopefully to stop him. Um, so as a parent, yeah, I, I would be okay with uh, teachers carrying or like hall monitors. Or, you know, um, I saw one mom post that at her school, when all the shootings start, like, happened at Sandy Hook, they hired a, like, ex-Marine. And he's been there for, like, you know, eight years now, six years now, or whatever. Um, just with a, you know, gun at the front gate. And every all the students, everyone has to go through the same front door. All the other doors are, like, non-existent. It's all the front one. Um, through metal, not metal detector, but they all have to go through the front. So it's like a teenage boy or an adult is it going to be able to get through the front gate without arising suspicions you know um, well yeah like like you got to think about it too it's like dude we protect our president with guns congressmen governors celebrities sporting events jewelry stores banks office buildings factories courts etc you know what i'm saying we 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 do this everywhere but as soon as it's a a school zone this is a gun free zone yeah, yeah, it's and it's just such a sensitive like subject. It always just ends up being political, and it always goes to the whole gun, the whole gun right, the right to bear arms. You know, people are always like, "Oh, if just no one had guns, this wouldn't happen." Yeah, but guns don't kill people. Be guns, yeah. Guns don't kill people. That's not the problem. People yeah, kill people. People don't get it because then people just are like, "Well, just let's just not have guns at all." And it's like, well, that's that's not fair. Because I'm not a gun person. It's like, but I'm not going to tell people, hey, man, I don't like guns. I don't want you to. You shouldn't have that. Because my brother-in-law, he's a big gun person, you know. But yeah, I got gonna... I got a lot of family. My little brother has is starting to build up his own collection of guns. And that's just because he Dan, loves them. Daniel. Daniel. Da, Daniel back yeah, he, he got his own little arsenal going. And that's just because he loves different types of guns. And, and you know you're safe. 
And oh, bro, I, I know I got him, and I got my older brothers as well. I got yeah, my dad. They cool. all carry. Um, Soon I will too. I'm just you know I'm a little broke right now, so I'm saving up to get my own gun too because I want to yeah, protect yeah. my family. I got yeah. my I got my girlfriend. I got my beautiful pets here. I got my own stuff now that I have to take care of. My house. I won't like get robbed. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a and that's shitty, dude. Like that that that's the world we live in. Um, and it's like it sucks because I live off of um, you know, we live in Vegas. It's like I live off Boulder Highway. It's like you just as soon as you hear that, it's like oh no. But it's a nice area. So right. I, I lo- like I like where we live. It's cool. Yeah, but that's what time- that's what they that's what people think about um the outside of my neighborhood too. I live like right outside of Lake Mead and Sloan. Uh, and it's uh, you know that's considered the ghetto but my neighborhood is so nice and peaceful and quiet dude i don't yeah. hear anything but there's times i go outside and i'm like oh who is that i get a little nervous <laughs> uh, like today when i left there was just a guy outside but i'd seen i've seen this guy around before um like kind of weird guy but yeah i got a little nervous so yeah we're thinking about moving to the east side when this lease is up but apartments and stuff are so expensive but we're not bro it's right so now. bad right now they're coming to um i think the, our landlord wants to refinance his, refinance it so they're coming so that means that they're probably they're gonna raise the rent when the lease is up so we gotta figure it out i'm gonna skedaddle no like so uh i'm having this well not me but my my girlfriend's sister is having the same problem right now looking for places so she found a house um pretty much almost the same price as ours it's a little smaller i mean you know that's the she buying it or rent? she's buying it's a it's it's a little smaller but that's just because of the you know the boom of the houses right now but um she got the if the first time buyer loan oh yeah and it's like close to five percent it's like 4.6 yeah bro her monthly mortgage is 1930. (laughs) <laughs> bro i'm like what the fuck no way she's like because she just got a, she she today was she was so excited she called us she's like they approved me like i got the house like we're gonna do like all the final stuff and then she called this like an hour later she's like i don't know if i'm gonna go through with it and i'm like what happened but yeah, like the first, it's because the first time buyer is fifth, it's four point six percent, almost five percent, like three percent. Uh, yeah, my I did it without the first time buyer, and it was like three point four five. I think I forgot. It's, it's I forgot what it is, but somewhere over there. But yeah, yeah. So we pay for the same price of a house. We pay right now. It's like thirteen twenty. That's great. 1320 that's that's that's, that's, that's yeah yeah and i have a three-bedroom house backyard porch everything you gotta you gotta let me know man who uh is it you and her on it and all that is what is it you and her on the house no it's just me that's cool we got it. madeline's trying to get into something like that um mine's a, my all my stuff's a little messed up it's been a rough year uh we don't need to get into all that no yeah um, that that her too since her and her sister um you know they don't got the best upbringing so they shared basically my girlfriend did her credit and like her and her sister did a lot of things together so her credit's not that good either so that's why i didn't even put her on the loan not not because i didn't want her to it's just that you know it was yeah. better it was better just for my credit because my credit you know <clears throat> 780 <clears throat> <laughs> Is it really 780? Yeah. Yeah, mine was really good for a long time. It was like 710 for a long time, but it is not anywhere near that anymore. Um, it's okay, dude. Just start. rebuild. You'll be there. You'll get there again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, all those poor babies. And it sucks. Uh, doing my TikToks <laughs> on the on the Tales of War, uh, my TikTok. Bro, come on. I did a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. Dude, your transitions get me every time. <laughs> You're like, damn, dude. Those poor babies, man. Fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I did a couple TikToks. Not a couple. You... I did a bunch of TikToks about school shootings. Oh, I was about to say about this one? No, I haven't done any yet. I'm like, dude, I'm nervous. 
to do anything on Tales of Horror because um, I don't know. I think it was around the time we did that last one. I was banned. Yeah. Uh, so I was I got unbanned, and so around the time I got banned, a little bit before I got playlists like TikTok was like, oh here you have ability to make playlists for your videos. I'm like, okay, that's sick because that's cool because I have so many different types of videos. My page makes the most like not out of like all pages on TikTok, but like my page makes a lot of sense to use category like playlists because there's so many like a variety of things. So I made one for like explosions and like collisions, uh, serial killers, um, accidents, stuff like that. And so doing that, it put them all into like the lot like the spotlight of TikTok. Right. It's um, and so easy like to access. Twelve of them, not not twelve. I'm exaggerating. A bunch of them got banned like taken down for graphic like content. that same day you made a playlist like right away yeah what it's, they all got taken down for graphic content even though they've been up since like october of last year they all got taken them? down for graphic content that's what um, you get for making a playlist bro dude that's a, yeah bro yeah <laughs> so i was taking it for a long time um and so now it's like if you look me up i don't think you can look me up or if you do it's like you're like shadow banned yeah, and you get to click on me, and it's like, are you sure you want to go to this page? This person posts explicit content or whatever. It's like, okay. So oh, I haven't really, damn. I just been so nervous because I'm like, I don't want to do it. And then it's just my page gets banned. And so I've just been doing, not even, I haven't really done anything yet either. I've just been on my Good Movies Daily one. And I started a new one too since then. Um, I have this third one called uh, the uh, Page Surfer. I haven't told you about that one. <laughs> um, What's that about? <laughs> Uh, okay, so I came up on, I said came up. Uh, so I came across on offer of this man um, was get, trying to get rid of a bunch of books. Uh. Um, trying to get rid of a bunch of books. And he's a retired English teacher in high, in like college or high school or something. And so I just, you know, I love reading to my kids. Um, I was also trying to do like the Amazon, where you send books to Amazon, Amazon sells them, you make money. Usually you're supposed to go to like Goodwill and thrift stores and whatever and get them from there and then you can send them in. And, but I was like, oh, look at all these books. So he had 11 shelves of books. Like, Damn. I don't know. So it's like as big as the ones, if you could see them behind me, like as big as those but full of books. And it's all varieties because he was a teacher. So he had them all separated by section. Uh, lit up, like. And you got this for like cheap? Zero, bro. He just gave it. Uh-huh. Bruh. Yeah. So, um, just poetry, religion, um, nonfiction, uh, fiction, uh, all of those like the Giving Tree and like the those you know talking about like the the white books the, with or the green ones. I forget what the author is. If you saw you know like Shel Silverstein, all those. Um, I have like an OG like Lord of the Rings, this big ass version. I have books from like the eighteen hundreds, like Bibles and stuff. It's insane the amount of books I have. Mein Kampf, like Hitler's book. Uh, I got the like original Harry Potter's, like little add-on books. The Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Tales of Beetle the Bard, and uh, Hogwarts Through the Ages. T- tons and tons and tons of books. Uh, it's insane. I posted. If you look up my TikTok, you can see I posted a video on it. If you look up Page Surfer, or on the Good Movies Daily TikTok, let's see. Dude, we can. Video. That's why we got this uh, this new setup, dude. Page Surfer. Uh, you don't got a profile picture yet? No. Oh, okay. That like, belongs to oh, a retired English teacher. Uh, his wife said it was time for him to move, you know, move the books out, pass them along. I got all of them for free. Um, and I want to go through yeah, some so of the amazing books that, that he has. Um, I haven't posted um, anything you know, being yet, but what I want to do is like, some really cool ones. This is one I gave to my son that he's already got. And because I know that there's people out there that appreciate it like I do. So I got, I got all these with the intention to like sell them. And I'm like, I haven't sold any yet because they're really <laughs> cool ones. Um, and then I went to the hospital. And so like, I still have some in my car. Because I had to get them all in like one trip, and so I still have some in my car that I haven't been able to like unload just because I, I I was just in pain for so long. Now I've been working and I've just been lazy to get them out. So definitely got to get all those out so I can start going through them. Because there's definitely tons that I don't want, but there's yeah. definitely tons that I do want. Because um, he has his own kids that are now like you know our age, and so he has tons of books from like yeah, tons of kid books. Tons of he has like every Star Trek book, which is insane. 
bunch of Stephen King books. Is awesome. There has to be some books in there that cost quite a bit of money. Dude, so many books. Um, it's insane. I've looked up a bunch. Um, it's really cool. I know my, my sister's been bugging, wanting to come over and go through it. My mom. Um, it's crazy. Um, That's dope, though. Cool. I started reading uh, a couple books here and there. And you got and you got these for free how? Just from knowing just, the guy? or No, like I just found him on OfferUp, uh, and I hit him up. Just like, hey. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm moving. Um you know, we're moving back to California. I've been toting these around for 30 years, and it's time to, you know, finally not Let bring them with me this time. Yeah, and so I'm like, okay. Uh, and he's like, you, you have to take them all. Like, you can't. I was just going to go <laughs> and, like, look through them. He's like, so you have to take them all. Like, uh, okay, like, fuck. Um, <laughs> okay, because it's a lot. I'll tell yeah, you. but, like, like he just had it, like, $0 on offer up, just, like, $0 come pick up or... No, I think he had like a, a dollar or something, um, but, uh, but I I had been already looking for books, and so it's like I saw it like a couple minutes after he posted it. So I like, dude, my hey, girlfriend would have went fucking insane if she saw that post. Dude, because my right. girlfriend loves books too. Yeah, she can. We'll have to get together, man. You and you and your girlfriend come over. We have like a, a you know, date night, watch movie. Yeah, but, man, we should do that because I mean, shit. Been, yeah, we haven't time. really been doing anything. Yeah, we're chilling. We've just been watching movies. Madeline's watching. I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh, gonna have to set it up so where I can take a day off because she can't take a day off for the next six months. <laughs> what day she she off? Uh, right she now, they off? gave her Thursday and Friday. It was Tuesday, Wednesday. They just switched. We can it. make we can make Thursday or Friday work, man. Maybe definitely Thursday because Friday we get the babies. But Thursday, we can make a Thursday work. Yeah, that worked for me, dude. Yeah, you know I mean, Cause I get off five o'clock every day. Got that, you know, got that set schedule. That set schedule. You work weekends? Off, uh, no, off Saturday, Sunday. Oh shit! Monday to Friday, I get holidays, dude. Benefits, like I have health insurance. God dang, what? dude. Dude, Quest was fucking us when we were in. <laughs> but installers still don't have benefits. But it's like now it's a. Uh, well, yeah, because they're part time workers, aren't they? Yeah, Some I'm full time. Part-time um, workers don't ever get benefits. Yeah, no, but I'm really going to try. I'm like, every time I hear them, like, talking about something, and, like, they sound like, oh, what are we going to do? I'm always, like, out of my cubicle, hoping, like, Lance or Alex going to, like, you got a, you got an idea? You know, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, um, I do. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely got to hang out. We should, man. Right. Well, anyway, dude, so let's play, let's finish this topic on this cool shooter before we move on because oh yeah, um, yeah, uh, a lot of it's crazy now. It's such a sensitive like world with the school shooting and like people and stuff that now there's a whole group of people that are like, oh, why? Like, okay, so he shot up the school. And it's like, why did he shoot up the school? Like, what did his family or what did the people around him? do to him like poor, poor kid you know pretty much like <laughs> what was going on in his life that drove him to that like that poor baby that poor 18 like no motherfuckers like he was evil he was he, evil he, and even the he, even he, his he, friends his friends were te- like talking saying that he was such a bully he wasn't yeah. nice he killed animals yeah like he was on social media on facebook like threatening girls like they was gonna do all this awful stuff to him but no one ever reported him because it wasn't it was always so vague it was never like direct like you i'm gonna do this it was but yeah um but yeah no i still see it i still see people because all they see is 18 year old they're just like what was his mom doing what was his dad doing what was like what were what's going on at school i think it was with elementary school like what was going on in his life that he needed to do that yeah that was the other thing too is like he didn't have the motive to go to his own high school he went to a freaking elementary school yeah. and did it made it even worse like he didn't have a target like he didn't have like a, a plan of like i want to kill these these yeah. these people because they messed up my life no he just literally decided to come to an elementary school and yeah, ruin other people's to... lives okay i got the timeline right here shoots his grandma survived what a beast 11 a.m. shoots grandma. Yeah, let me, because I have it uh, right here too. 11:28, he crashes his grandma's truck into a ditch. 
So is he intoxicated? Or is he just... Exit the vehicle armed. First 911 call by teacher. So at 11.30 was the first call. I'm not even going to read the rest of this. Where, let me see where the police enter. 1131. 911. Dude, 1216. The students in room called 911 for a fourth time. This Dude, happened. Two. This is a whole 30 minutes. Dude, room 112 was called to police so many times. They called 911, asked the operator to send police now. 1246 calls, says she can hear the police next door. The student in room asked the operator to send police immediately. So at 1250, law enforcement breached the locked classroom door using keys from Janitor McCraw. Oh, is he dead? <laughs> Here, I, thought, I thought he survived. <laughs> Wait, who? The the shooter? The shooter. He oh, died. he died? Oh, I didn't know he died. All right, hold on. Let's, let's read this timeline, okay? So it says, let's start from uh, the beginning. Um, Dude, in the prior I months. Was bleeding. Oh. <laughs> you were waiting for the trial or something? Not trial, but I wanted to like see the fucking invest, like the him going to the police and those crucial, like I don't know if you ever watched like the Nicholas Cruz, the guy who did the Parkland shooting. Those crucial like couple hours of them like in the interrogation room that they get left there by themselves. Like I love watching. Oh, them. I love watching those two where they just like isolate them and saw and like pick yeah, their brain. Just, like going crazy, but yeah, no, he he, he died. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it says before going to school and committing a massacre the shooter sent a series of chilling text messages to a girl he met online according to screenshots reviewed by cnn and interview with the girl the teen girl who lives in germany so he was talking to a girl in germany says she hey, began no. chatting with the shooter on social media app earlier this month the shooter told her that on monday he received a package of ammunition on tuesday morning uh ramos called her and told her he loved her he said he complained about his grandmother being on the phone with AT&T about my phone. Wait, what? He complained about bullets. Uh, it's annoying. He texted six minutes later at 11.21 a.m. He texted, I just shot my grandma in her head. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? It's not funny, but it's like shocking where you got to laugh, you know? Like, what? Like, he literally just complained about her mo her grandma being annoying. And then, like, a couple minutes later, it's like, fucking, I shot my grandma in the head. Seconds later, he said, I'm going to go shoot up in elementary school right now. Seconds later. Let's see ya. Tuesday, May 24th, 11.27 a.m. Video shows an exterior door of Rob Elementary School, which is expected to be where the shooter entered from. So, somebody fucked up and left one of the back doors open. God damn it. Uh, he propped open by a teacher. Oh, was propped open by uh, a teacher. McCraw said during Friday, 1128, the, shooter, the shooter's vehicle crashes into a ditch near the school. A teacher runs into a room to get a phone and returns to the exit door, which remains propped open. The suspect jumps out from the passenger side of the truck with a rifle and a bag, which officials later discovered was ammunition. DPS director. Um... The witness, meanwhile, who were at a funeral home across... There's a funeral home across the elementary school? That's kind of... Dude, why is this relevant? I'm reading this. It says... It shows what his name is. Was a resident, former student, did not have a criminal record or any documented mental health issues. According to his classmates and some of his friends, he had a stutter and a lisp. <laughs> like for, it mattered. Yeah, for which he was bullied, I guess. For he re frequently had fist fights with classmates, occasionally with boxing <laughs> gloves. Does it count that he carried around with him? Just he carried around boxing up. gloves. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what a piece of shit! He had few friends. Yeah, eleven thirty. A teacher reemerges in panic. Apparently, called nine one one. McCraw said in a separate statement. Marshal Service said that it received a call for assistance at 11.30 a.m. 11.31, suspect reaches the, law row, the last row of vehicles at the school parking and begins shooting at the school. Damn! <laughs> it's like, how did he... He was there for so long. I heard he was in one class for a whole hour. 
Well, yeah, that's why right here it says 1133, the shooter enters the school and begins shooting into a classroom, which is connected to the second class. He shot at least 100 rounds. Damn. I mean, it was in there until 1250 at least. Cause yeah, like, so like he entered at 1133, and then uh, it looks like uh, 11... All right, shots fired here from the 36. Dispatchers send police now. Students for the police. Uh, Jesus. They took so long. They took forever. That poor, all those poor babies, dude. Yeah, first call, 11.30. They got in the class. Use the janitor's master key to unlock the door. We're almost at locked at twelve fifty. So from eleven thirty to twelve fifty. Yeah. There's like you're good. Especially wow. for it being a school shooting and they not having any CCS or like I mean not CCS because you know that's us. But I'm saying like uh, like <laughs> like like uh school police, you know. Yeah, like why don't they have any school police patrolling the areas? A whole hour and twenty minutes it took for police to come in there. As a parent, this upsets me. <laughs> I'm gonna go there right now. As an uncle, this upsets yeah. me. I saw his mom come out and was like, "Forgive me. I don't know why my son did it. Forgive me." Don't be mad at him. It's like, well, as you're put yourself in their shoes, mom. She said that? Yeah. Can put we that, look that up? Put the clip, yeah. Look Ooh. up uh Miss Ramos. What's her name? I just looked up uh Oh yeah, here's her art prayer. Ramos's mother says she has no explanation for her son's attack on the school, but he had his reasons for doing what he did, so please don't judge him. I only want the innocent children who died to forgive me. His father apologized for his son's actions and said he should have just killed me, you know, instead of just doing something like that. No tengo palabras. No tengo palabras para decir porque no sé lo que estaba pensando. Él tenía sus razones para hacer lo que hizo. Y por favor, no lo juzgan. Don't Yo judge me. A los niños inocentes que se murieron, perdóname. ¿Qué les dices a los familiares de ellos? Perdóname, perdona mi hijo. Yo sé, él tenía sus razones. ¿Qué razones pudo haber tenido? A que se acercaran más a sus niños. En vez de poner atención a las cosas, las otras cosas malas, la, no, yo no tengo palabras, no sé. Era bien calladito, era bien callado, bien. Um, he was to himself. Él no le molestaba a nadie, él no le hacía nada a nadie. Ok, so, <coughs> what I'm getting out of this, I mean, it's... It's sad to it like it's sad to say. I mean, she's a very seems like a traditional like Hispanic mother, but like <clears throat> what she's saying, it's not to forgive him. It's like saying like like I'm sorry. She's more saying like I'm oh. sorry. Like I uh, like, I don't know why he did this. Like forgive. Don't blame me. Yeah, forgive me. You know. Like, yeah, like I didn't do nothing. She's like don't fuck. Be she's over here like she don't even know what to say about her own son. Like oh my god, what did I? What did, what has he done? <clears throat> I mean shit. But I feel the same way. I would be, I would be like, the way that you said. I'm like, dude, fuck my son. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. But I mean that also comes off wrong. You know, it makes you look like a bad parent. Yeah, because yeah, um, this kind of ties into uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, did you watch that yet? No, I haven't. Um, I won't really. I won't get into crazy spoilers, but in that movie, um, it deals a lot with um, Wanda as a parent. Um, you know, Scarlet Witch as a parent. 
if you didn't watch the show. Yeah. Um, so it, it, okay, so it deals a lot with her as a parent. Um, and so when I read stuff about it and like people talking about it, people are always saying like, "Oh, is Wanda a bad guy?" Um, and they're like, "Oh no, she's a, she's just a mom." You know, I'm like, "No, she's evil." <laughs> she, you know, you know, watch the movie, but you know, it's like she hurt lots of um, innocent people. Um, I forget why I started talking about that. It was going to tie in. It was going to tie to what we're talking about. It was. It was. <laughs> um, it was. Not anymore. Fuck. Um, <laughs> my bad. It was going to tie in. Shit. Um, no, but yeah, it, I mean, like, like putting the, putting your like. Put yourself in her shoes. I mean, cut the news media coming all up on you, and you don't even know why it happened. Like, you thought your kid was, like, you know, a normal kid, and then he turns out to be, like, this freaking psychopath. I mean, like, how do you even go about that? It also goes back to, like, people talking about, like, his motives and stuff. Like, his family. You know, like, oh, why did he do this? Like, where was his parents? Um, what, you know? Like, the mom, like, she didn't realize he was like this. Like, that he had all this, like, whatever inside of him to the point that he needed to go to his elementary and shoot up a school and kill, like, a, in his mind, kill his grandma. Um, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people just, like, that's why the mom's like, don't blame me. Like, I'm sorry. Because, yeah, a lot of people go straight to the parents. Like, hey, what, what the fuck? Why is this a thing? What, what what's going on you couldn't have talked to your kid to like get him to not do this yeah um, but like like they i feel like it's one of those things where you, she doesn't she didn't even know that this was going on like yeah. like yeah he could have probably had like a tenter like a temper problem but like that's like a lot of kids a lot of kids have problems where like they get mad for no reason and they don't expect them to like you know, he was 18 so he probably by himself without without them knowing saved up money Got his own gun license. He got his own gun. Did he have a license? Let me see. Yeah, I don't even know how actually how he got his gun. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, something Ramos. Confronting the shooter. Salvador. Salvador. It said before tactical units arrived, police officers inside the school. Who numbered at least 19, there was 19 police officers in the school, made no effort to breach the room where Ramos was. Looking. Okay, I yeah, see. So, so he bought two assault rifles for his 18th birthday. I think it, I read something about like his, he has his sister for one. Uh, I, I also read that the, the police had fucked up, and I'm reading right here where they fucked up. Because they believed... There was 19 police officers behind a door that they believed he was breached behind. And they thought that the room he was in was isolated to where he could do no more harm, but it was not. Um, and so, yeah, he was able to go into other classrooms and kill more people instead of just the one that they believed he was in. Police arrested and handcuffed one mother who drove to the school after hearing about the shooting, which prevented her from trying to save her children. Nice. But look, this is what it says right here. It says, <clears throat> it says Ramos legally purchased two AR platform rifles uh, at a local federal arms license, licensee on May 17th. So, yeah, he bought, he purchased the guns. So, what was I saying again? So, like, yeah. So, he, I don't know if the parents knew that he got a gun or like he got it behind their back, but either way, you know, like, this day and age everybody gets a gun for protection or like you know for the fun for having fun and doing things with you know good intentions you know and you you don't think your kid of all people is gonna be a goddamn mass shooter and that's not something that you talk about to your kid like hey are you okay they're gonna say yes yeah. that's the I problem can't, I can't imagine that. That you can't like, like people say that it's the parents' prob or it's the parents' fault, but like sometimes the parents thing. don't even know like that it was going on the entire time. Yeah, that'd be devastating. That'd be like fuck. Like I'm sorry. Yeah, like <laughs> exactly. Like you don't even know what to say. That's why she's I, like, I, forgive I, them. Like I didn't know. I wish I could have done better. 
Or the dad's like, fucking kill me instead of shit. Exactly. Like, imagine the guilt that these parents have to go through now that they have They're all these them. lives, They're including them. their own son. You know, now that we know that he died too. Like, yeah. they. <laughs> And so they got all these lives and their own son and they got this conscious carrying carrying that on for the rest of their lives too like you know family friends and people around their 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 town are gonna look at them like yo that's their that's that family i thought he was uh i was surprised when i saw he wasn't uh the usual school shooter <laughs> but like why <white>? yeah <laughs> I mean, if you look at him, he looks like an emo white kid. Yeah, that's what everyone thought. But no, he's, he's Hispanic. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. R.I.P. to all those poor babies and the poor two teachers. Um, it's a tragedy. Yeah, it's you know, Hopefully horrible. it never happens again, but we know it will. Knock sad on wood. sad um, to say. Don't say that, man. Until people they just have to, you know, it just sucks. Man. Unless there's I change, it's never going to change. Yeah, that's like, the I sad thing. Going to school next year. Um, my son's starting next year. My daughter's starting in two years, so it's like it's scary. Um, yeah. I'd love to homeschool them. That'd be incredible. Um, Let me shoot. I got four nieces, man. You know, all age ranges. They got them from fourteen down to three years old. So it's scary because they're always, you know, when you're with them, you're always just protecting them, always on guard. So it's like, oh, they're going to school. It's like you have to release that for. How many hours are there? And it's like, fuck, to have them be gone and just die. That, that paranoia. That, yeah, die in that period of time that you don't have them. Just, you feel guilty, even though it's, you know, you'll have that uh, survivor's guilt, you know? Like, oh, it should have been me. Like, or why weren't, why, why, why didn't I just, like, why? Like, dude, so many things. Exactly. Like, how, like, you putting, putting yourself in that perspective, like, coming, to go see if your kid's okay and they're not like yeah oh, that'd be that's fucking horrifying to think about um yeah and i was reading right here that some of the people didn't know until like almost you know the next day that yeah their kid died you know because they hadn't released the schools they like, on lockdown and they hadn't released the anybody of all yeah. of the, the bodies so it's like, oh, maybe my kid is one of the injured. Like, oh no, he died. He died. That that sucks. I've been waiting all day long to see. It's like, fuck, man, that would be a nightmare. Yeah, fearing the worst. Like you can't even talk to your own kid for a yeah. whole day, and then find out that they're gone. R.I.P. to all those poor children and the two teachers. Um, sorry that happened. That sucks. Sorry to the families. Um. Do better, people. <laughs> That's the only thing you can really do, you know. Yeah. Just change um, this. Just gotta change everything. Everything's got to change. Yeah. And then, and it's like sad to say too, because like you would think that there's freaking like yeah, teenagers, it's bad, but yeah. kids, they haven't even hit their adolescence yet. Yeah, like that's that's like it's even I worse. I don't want to defend the kid, and we're not sitting here defending the kid. But yeah, it's like, oh, I can see if he went back to his high school and shot up the school because it's like, oh, you're the one that bullied me. You're the one that did this. You're the one that did that. Like, you you failed my. You gave me an F in school. Um, you bullied me. But yeah, an elementary school where it was literally just because they were helpless. Like, you're a coward, bro. And and then it's like two. It's like what, what was it? A week before graduation or Dude, yeah, school's like that, being that done. Week. Thursday, that was supposed to be like the last day. Huh? Yeah, that like kids something. are over here happy. Summer's about to start. No one's thinking about this tragedy happening in the next couple oh, of days. Happens. They're supposed to finish on Thursday. Yeah, uh, they only had three days left, uh, or two days left. Speaking of change, you know what? Some good changes. <laughs> what? Fortnite going into no build mode. <laughs> Hell yes, bro. Dude, well, before we change off into the topic, though, do you, do you remember? <laughs> no, do you do you remember that whole thing that happened with our elementary school, where there was like an active shooter? Ah, oh, yes. No, it was so like that whole thing was. Are I you feel. 
I was involved because of the girl that screamed. I was right next to her. Who was it? Who's that? Jessica or Taryn? Yeah, Jessica, dude. Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess we're talking about this. Um, okay, <laughs> so when all this happened, I remember I was with Mo. This is the guy, the one who started. Oh my God, dude. I fucking remember Mo. I, I, I wonder what happened to that kid, man. I remember him. He, I used to look him up on Facebook because I've always, the story always comes back up. No last him. names. No last names. We don't want nobody yeah. to be shamed here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember we were at recess, and I think I'd heard about it earlier that day, um, maybe the day before, something about it, and Mo had talked about it, um, and I remember being at recess and seeing a bunch of people over there, and it's funny because we both lived in that area, so um, driving around there now, it's funny. Um, so I remember we were over by the basketball court where it like bordered the like the neighborhood that's right there. So yeah, like, there's like a little gap, and then the yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, and so. Mo was over there. There's a bunch of kids over there. And um, I remember he was like, oh, my God, uh, there's a guy over there. This is what I remember, bro. I could just be – I smoked a lot of weed. I could just be forgetting. <laughs> and so I remember that he was saying that looking – he could look – he was looking, like, through the fence, through, like, the fence because they had, like, the green whatever, and into, like, the backyard of this house. And there was a guy back there with a ski mask. Um with a gun and so he was like holy shit um and so a bunch of he told someone else about it and a bunch of people told a bunch of other people and then we all ended up at the fence everybody's um, looking yeah and then i remember i went and I, fucking narc ass i went and i told uh the principal, <laughs> or not the principal or like the dean or hall monitor whoever was out there on the playground like hey um this is what's going on over here it's scary we we see this guy um you know, he has a ski mask. If you look at him and his eyes, his head gets real big. Bro, uh, <laughs> that part, I, like, I don't know if that part is me. Dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, everyone freaked out because eventually something happened. Everyone freaked out. Um, and I went back to class. And I remember everyone screaming and freaking out and running. No, it wasn't even everybody. Dude. So, like, before that... I was at that fence, but like I was playing the fucking the the ball game where tether you ball. tether ball. Yeah, I was playing tether There's ball, tether ball and then they're all over here bunching against the the gate, and I'm we're all like confused. And then all I see is Jessica screaming on top of her lungs, and then we're all confused as shit. Like what the fuck just happened? And then she's like, "There's a guy with a gun!" Right? Yeah. So then everybody starts screaming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then uh, back to I, where I, you were. Yeah, we ought to go back inside. I remember, and I went back to class. Um, I went back to class. I was sitting there, um, and principal, dude, I keep saying principal. Someone came in. It was like a police officer, bro. Police officer and someone else came in. Like, uh, we need Jonathan from Kerrigan. I was like, God, bro. <laughs> um, and so they took me. I, and I tell the story now to my girlfriend or like other people. They're like, Yo, this was illegal. So they took me. Um, so the principal's office asked me some questions. I answered, and then they took me outside into a cop car. Oh shit! Oh yeah, like they took me in a cop car with Mo, Jessica, um, and Taryn. You know Taryn? Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh, she was just a uh, white girl. Oh uh, yeah, she I don't was, know. Who was there? Involved? I've talked to her like back, like after we graduated, or like maybe senior year. I'd seen her because that was what fucking uh, elementary school, fifth grade. Uh, so I hadn't seen her for a long time. So I finally talked to her and she's like, "Yeah, I remember that." Um, drove us from Brookman all the way down to that street right before you get to Christie on Bonanza, no, on Washington, on the left, where it goes into like Troy's old neighborhood. So they, you know, so they took you out of school, dude. Yes. Like, what? Us four in the cop car. And Miners, had, dude, fifth graders, fourth graders. Some shit. What the Took fuck? Down, and they had me and Mo in one car, and then uh, Jessica and Taryn in another car. And they were asking us like, um, they like had us go set, uh, like by ourselves too. Like, hey, go stand outside the car with this officer, bro. It was so fucking weird. And they were just asking us like, what did we see? What did we say? What's going on? Um, yeah. And so eventually they took me back. I ended up in the principal's office again. Um, and I remember my dad and Zach's, I don't even remember Zach, 
my friend growing up, his mom, I think at the time they were living with us, um, they picked me, they came to pick me up from school and they could not find me because I wasn't there. And it was this whole thing. My dad was freaking out. Like, yo, what the fuck? Like, why was my kid not here? Um, it was insane. Yeah, insane. that's crazy. Um, I didn't know that happened. Dude, yeah, it was crazy. Um, yeah, we ended up going back and then, yeah. I don't really remember anything else after that. Just a normal day at school the next day, I'm sure. No, I mean, like, the whole school went on lockdown. So I'm even surprised that they took you out. Yeah, they took us out. Because, yeah, none of the other people could get their students out. Yeah, I was there fucking hours. I remember that, dude. I was getting... They took me. Like, <laughs> if you ever talk to those people, bro, bring them in for the fucking podcast. <laughs> Let's talk about that day. Um yeah because i'm not tripping that that happened i do i swear i think i think i was on the news i was one of the little kids that were like saying <laughs> um i don't know i i think there was a school shooter i just know that somebody would scream it i, I remember <laughs> insert it right here if you got it man i don't know i'd have to look it up dude <laughs> yeah, that was insane um brookman was lit though i loved field day i Bro. remember um my fifth grade teacher miss latingua she was Miss Hole at the beginning. Uh, she fell down really hard. Miss Hole? Is that it was that the lady with that brought out the cloud, right? The black cloud? Uh, I don't know. She fell down when we were playing the kickball game. She like kicked it and she went to run to I'm pretty sure we had the same class, right? We were in the same class. Fifth grade? I don't know. Were we? I think so. Cause were we in a portable? Yeah. The one <laughs> in the back? The last one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Did you have a... Uh... The only person I remember having in that class was one of those twin girls, uh, Astrea or a Steph. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Were you in that class? Yeah. Weren't <laughs> they both in the class? Dude, they might have been. I think yeah. I I'm like, there's no way that they would have separated them. <laughs> they got That's the same funny. last name. Fuck. Dude, we learned such stupid shit. The preamble. like <laughs> The 50 states. The, the 50 states. Like, thanks, Miss Hole. Since she got married. Miss you don't remember the black cloud where we fucking pissed her off so bad to the point where she brought out a black cloud and she wore black clothing for like two weeks? No, I remember in high school when I uh, made my teacher cry. Did you <laughs> I, miss uh, Miss Carmona? No, I don't think so. I, I remember Mr. Staples. Yeah. I got I got him fired. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah bro dude no because i so i got in a fight i think i'm pretty it was a fight right and um i was getting suspended so they put me into his office and like to kind of like say what happened and um and then he he was like so this is he's like this is why you wet backs and i said excuse me sir excuse <laughs> what did you say like dude, i was like hold up what did you say and then he was like no what it, he was like no it's a joke i was just trying to be funny and i was like no that's not fucking funny what did you say to me what and, did he say <laughs> yeah dude and i stood up and i and like i kind of like exaggerated through the chair and i was like i want to go home <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro dude he got me a wet bag dude i'm not even joking <laughs> Uh, that's not funny, bro. Dude. That's so fucking. Funny. <laughs> he called me a wetback, dude. And I was like, "What the? F- what did you say?" Who so was it, again? Mr. Staples, the the, the oh, bald yeah, yeah. the bald black guy. Well, no. So like the like the whole reason yeah. the whole reason it happened. <laughs> well, like why he got fired is because I got suspended. Like I got suspended, right? And then my mom was like what's wrong why did you get like she was like you know she was putting down the hammer on me like why did you get suspended and i was like i was telling her the reason i was like but the dean called me a wet bag and she said hold up what did he call you <laughs> so this whole thing this whole thing got brought up in, into the office and i had to go into the school and then we had to talk about it and and sure enough he did admit it. he admitted it he admitted he said it. he's like yeah i said it i was just trying to be funny like he i don't know <laughs> I got and then I told them that I wanted to change schools because I didn't want oh, to be there anyways. Yeah. And then then yeah. uh they said no, how about we just, you know, let him go and you can stay here. Damn, you valuable, homie. You're like, unexpendable. But yeah, so yeah, I got him fired. <laughs> oh, 
My man's got a voodoo doll of you somewhere in his house. <laughs> fuck that guy. Fuck you, you fuck. <laughs> I hate you. You ruined my life. You went back. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. Uh, dude, I don't. As a colored person, um, I haven't experienced like racism too often. Um, but when I do experience, it's always like. Um. Yeah, that, it's never fun. Uh, it was just, it's just so. It was just such like. It was just one of those things where you're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Like, why, like I'm already mad. Why would you even say that? <laughs> why did you say that to me? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I think yeah, like that, like that. now that I think about it, it probably was funny when he said it. <laughs> but like in the moment, I was like young. I'm like young and I'm over here like already pissed off because I'm over here getting in a fight in just class. Adult, just tell me, call me a wet bag. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I just, dude, do you know what happened with that fight too? I don't even think anybody really knows because it was oh, so fast. Ah, uh, fuck with this. I don't remember his name, dude. He was like, on blast, homie. He, he was like this like chubby, like a Spaniard oh, dude. He had, he had blonde hair, blue eyes. He was oh, kinda... dude, was it the twin of that girl? Was it the twin? No, I don't think it was a twin. Was his name Gerardo? Yes, dude! Dude, I heard this story. Yes, yeah, I hated that fucking guy. Bro, so, dude, I came into class. Oh. I came into class, dude, and he was already picking on me. And then, like, he pushed me. And then I'm like, bro, I pushed him back. He punched me in the stomach. And then I grabbed his head and I slammed it on the table. And then, uh, and then they broke it up. Dude, and then he I never did. messed with me again. Yeah, fuck that kid, dog. Did you, did you have a uh, back at Ocalian, Mr. Amelboro for help? <sighs> Mr. Amel, it sounds familiar. He's just a short little dude who like was really buff. Uh -uh. He had, like big veins in his arms. No, I didn't. Um, anyway, I had him for health. He was really into like being healthy and living life good. And one day, that same kid, um, for some reason, was like, oh. Whatever my dog acts up, I kick him. <laughs> I kick him. Yeah, Mr. Amber was like, like, what did he say? <laughs> um, and literally the whole rest of the period, I don't forget how long middle school classes were, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. The whole rest of that fucking period, he just roasted this kid, you know, because he was fat. He just roasted him about how this dog was better than him in every way and how him as a kid of soon to be man was a inadequate the piece of shit dude it was insane oh, what man. no like, way dude yeah and he's just sitting there like i was kidding <laughs> he's like, no you weren't you, like you never heard of an animal um of course you a fat like piece of shit would hit a would hit a dog that can't do anything um, <laughs> i'm sure he didn't say it like that right <laughs> dog yes <laughs> no uh, way dude like, what did he say? <laughs> That's some fire material right there, too, bro. He was cool, bro. He was a really cool teacher. But I don't know what happened with that. He did, like, uh, marathons and stuff. Like, after like after school and stuff. He was cool. You never got in fights in school? Me? Yeah. Um. No. I, I feel like no. One time. Uh -huh. At school. I remember I was walking through the halls with the girl I was dating in eighth grade. <laughs> Um, we were walking like, yeah, bro. <laughs> we were walking like, did you have band? No, we were walking like where the band and like orchestra and choir was. We were like walking through those halls, and this kid that I knew, I was in eighth, he was in sixth, and I knew him from before when I was like in fifth grade and he was like in second grade. Um, and he finally made it to O'Callaghan, um, and so he was like, and we were just walking. And he popped out of like the space between the lockers, and I was like way taller than him it just like got me per dude perfectly <laughs> and i was just like oh, like what the fuck and he's gotcha and he ran away um and i was just like okay what the fuck and he's just fucking went, gremlin dude yeah and then we, I, yeah um never been in a fight at school uh yeah i've been in one fight that i count as like i don't even count as a fight when i, cause when I talk about it i'm like always oh, joking me and jordan you probably played with him jurassic jordan I think it was like <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs> he went to El Dorado. Um, he was a great ahead of us. We got one fight. We were playing wall ball. I remember this. I'll never forget. We were playing wall ball. Um, and for some reason, we ended up getting in a fight. Um, I got him in a fucking headlock. Um, 
Yeah. And he was just like punching me in the stomach and I had him in the headlock and I was just squeezing really fucking hard. Um, yeah. So that's the only fight I've been in. And it's not like getting counted as a fight. <laughs> Dude, I've been in so many fights. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm... Like my, I feel like my neighborhood was kind of like the reason why too. Like we had all, we, it was back when from probably eight to maybe 15, it was kids galore in our neighborhood like everybody was 100%. outside i think madeline lived in that neighborhood for a while oh no yeah so uh, me and louie got in a fight uh, fucking like, kyler the guy that lives up the street kyler, right down the street. we we got in a fight with t- as well and then there was a guy named glenn glenn and the kevin dude. yeah you remember oh you know them yeah. well yeah the, those two their brothers um they kind of set up this thing called like King of the Hill where they would literally bring all the kids from the neighborhood and we would just get in a circle and then we would box. <laughs> we would box, we would box and then the King of the Hill, that means like the person up top kept fighting everyone else till they lost. Were you the King of the Hill? No, it never was, bro. I always got in there, got my ass beat. <laughs> Who was always the King? Glenn or his brother, <laughs> Kevin. I mean, dude, they were like fucking five years older than us and shit, dude. <laughs> <Just> being, <laughs> being all the little kids up, bro. He was such a bully. Speaking of them too, dude, they were such bullies, bro. They like literally patrolled the neighborhood with goddamn BB guns filled with CO two. No. no. So we, dude, we would be playing in our garage, like fucking skateboarding or I don't know, <laughs> you know, just just you know, chilling with our friends, right? And then they would pull up. Dude, they would fucking pull up with their BB guns and they'd be like, give me this. They'll, sometimes they'll like tell me to get them a snack or like some water or something. <laughs> and then one day I had enough, bro. I had enough of their shit, right? And I said, no, boy, that was a mistake because they fucking beat my ass. And they I shot me like four or five guy. times. <laughs> they just, fucking, you know, police, homie. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> they shot me like four or five times point blank with those CO two with those CO two uh BB guns, bro. That's assault, brother. <laughs> Back then it was just bullying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bully. Don't do that. <laughs> now you're going to prison, buddy. Have fun. You don't ever, you don't think about mic. that kind of stuff as a kid. You kind of just like, all right, well, you know what? I guess I'm the bitch. He raped me. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it was a joke, bro. <laughs> like, ah, oh. fucking child again. Oh, dude. Rest in peace to those babies, man. Rest in peace to those babies. We are hitting the hour mark too, so. Dang. We kind of went through it. Yeah, man. You, we're talking about, <laughs> you know, uh, toxic lobbies. Uh, go play some no build Fortnite. It is so fun. Because um, everyone that's playing that is just having a good time. So I'd be playing solo quads. Not solo quads, but like solo, and I'll do Phil um, <clears throat> and getting a random team. So fun. And then not getting into battles with a 12 year old that builds to the sky. Um, super fun. I definitely want to start streaming. I know I've been saying that. That's something I've been saying. But this podcast and making content is also something I've been say- saying. And look at us. We're doing it. So I think I could. I can do it. Start streaming Call of Duty Fortnite. I mean, Minecraft. shoot. Now now we kind of set the schedule. We kind of just like sat each other down. We're like, all right, dude. Monday's yeah. 9. No more slacking. Okay? Be yeah, there. So podcast is Monday at 9. Um, and then I could probably stream... Around the same time, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, because I work at 8.30. Um, but if I have the babies, I have to get up at like 6, 15, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, yeah, I can get a couple hours in. Yeah, I mean, shoot um, for now, too. Probably me, too, since uh, I got more free time. I'll probably get on around 7 or 8, too. Yeah, just do it. Um, no more saying it. Just like no more saying it, just do it. Talk. Yeah, yeah, because, you know. It's fun. I love making content. It's really cool. You're a good person to make content with. Um, it'd be cool to make, do like game content too. Um, Hell yeah, dude! I'm down. You know me. Do co-ops and stuff. That'd be fun. Oh god! Even like the videos that we've made shortly, like any the like the football one. That was one of my favorite videos recently yeah, that we did fun. together. 
Yeah, download a like a funny co op game and just play it together. Yeah, dude, there's a whole bunch of like uh, like five minute games. I call them because it's literally you just playing for a day or less, and yeah. you just make something great out of it. Because for me, my specialty is one minute videos, like short film content. And yeah. dude, playing those five minute games is literally the best. And especially the games where like Steam, where you pay for them, but if you only play it for an hour, you can get a refund. Oh really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like uh, there, it's for Steam. It, I think it's an hour or two hours. I, I forgot. It's one or two hours, and you could test the game. And if you don't like it, you could get a refund. And well, I gotta look back at my games. <laughs> so like, yeah, for those one minute games that we do have to pay for, and then we don't really like them, just want to make like a fucking five minute video, then we could also get refunds. I'm down, man, because, yeah, I'm always wanting to make videos. I've been playing Bioshock on the Xbox. Um, you need to get a VR. Those are also fucking... I have one. Great. Uh, oh, you got the Quest? What was that? Oh, it's an Oculus. Yeah, the Quest? Oh, what did you say? I think I, I can connect this to my computer. I just have it. So. Yeah, you just need a C cable, right? Or is that just in a... Oh, that's the old Oculus. Hey! Hey! That's ancient. <laughs> this is yeah this is the quest the first quest yeah um yeah there's this that's a charger with c i can connect to my computer i have i made sure when i got this motherboard i say i but my brother-in-law helped me we made sure when i got it that it is vr um compatible so yeah it has a i have a i have a very fun game that we could play i'm down bro i have a few games that i play uh i would love to play you know can you play minecraft on there I haven't played Minecraft, but we can do that. We can start our series. Yeah, I'm down, man. Uh, play some games. I'm excited for episode. Well, for three, be episode three. I don't know what. This for is episode you. two for us. Oh, the next, the next one. one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad episode two is in the books. We did it. Is it dude? Wait, well, let's behind. see. It. Sorry, everybody. I'm back. I'm healthy. Yeah, episode um, seven. This would be episode seven. Hopefully, there's a. I have an update next. Well, not next time, because I don't have a doctor appointment for a little while, but a couple more videos from now. Hopefully, I have an update on my health. Um, I'm good right now. That's good. That's good. Um, All right, so we're going to wrap it here, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in in this next episode seven, I believe. So, yeah, we're back again. Hopefully, next week, we'll be back we'll be as well. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to try to be more consistent. I know we keep saying that and it doesn't happen, but I feel like this time, this is it. This is the one. Yeah. And I'll, I'll fix my setup. Your, your whole time. setup? So that it's not a, uh, you know, TV in the back. <laughs> and I, you can actually see me better. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm also going to set it up to where you can see the videos that I link up. So you can listen at the same time as I'm listening instead of you All just right. having like dead air. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I can set I'm that up and I can set that up in Discord so you can hear it too. All right. All right. So thank you guys. Follow me on Easy Mac everywhere, all my social medias, and you can follow Dubs uh, wherever he says. Uh, I want to start making content. I said this last time. I wanted to start making content on my I'm Dubs one. Um, so, yeah, follow me at uh, Tales of Horror. <laughs> no, yeah, follow me at, uh, look me up on YouTube. He'll tag it, I'm sure. Uh, look up I'm Dubs. My content on there is a huge variety of stuff. Um, I want to try to dial it in to, you know, what I want it to be. Right now, it's everything that lately has been, I did a bunch of movie stuff. But I don't do movie stuff on it anymore because I made a new page for it but yeah i'm dubs sorry all right so just i'm dubs yeah let me play youtube perfect all right so everybody have a great morning day or evening and we will see you on the next episode yes bye everyone have a good night or day <laughs> fucking rookie dude <laughs>